Greetings, beloved. Welcome to the Book of Remembrance. This is a message from Lord Jesus, or Yahushua, as some of you call him. This message was received on September the 19th, 2015. Be blessed. And the Lord Jesus began, Even though this is a dispensation of grace, holiness is required, obedience is required, sacrifice is required, love is required, so is mercy, grace, and good fruit. The newer things are the baptism in the Holy Spirit and with fire. This brings you into a deeper walk with me. A bride is required to have a deep love walk with me, a rejection of carnality, return to the simple things that are ignored by the church today. Things like grace, mercy, kindness, meekness, servitude to others, charity, and above all, holiness, for I am holy. I am a bridegroom. I desire to be with my bride. Therefore, time spent in prayer and fasting, not as a sign of debasing the body, but as done through love to seek a closer relationship with me, is required. Read the Song of Solomon and find out the kind of love and connection between lovers, between a bride and a groom. I am not talking about carnal love, but a love that is pure, whose purity is from heaven above. This love is experienced in heaven now, and no carnal thing is found or belongs in heaven. This love is an answer to the prayer, be it on earth as it is in heaven. I want my brides to experience the same love there is in heaven, a love without lust, ire, jealousy, dissensions, divisions, or carnal sin of any kind. It is not a sexual love, for there is no sex in heaven, just purity, wholesomeness, kindness, gentleness, all the fruit of the Spirit, but above all, the purity and clarity of holy love. It radiates from the Father's heart. For have I not told you, God is love. He does not just love. He is love, the very same force through which I created the heavens and the earth. For I am the Word, and I am love. For I and my Father are one. I am in Him, even as He is in me. In heaven there is no difference. We are indeed one in thought and in action. You desire to see heaven? It is love that will draw you there. Learn to love your brother your enemy, those who wrong you here, and I guarantee it, you will see heaven one day. I love you. You have been gone away for a long time, but now is the time to return to me. I want you to know me as a bride knows her groom. I repeat, this is not a carnal love. The only reason this kind of love is associated with sex is because when God made man, he made sex for his pleasure and companionship with his wife and to bring forth children. The love is the same, but there is no carnality in heaven, no impure thoughts or urges of the flesh. These are feelings of the earth and will remain here. I repeat, read the Song of Solomon, and I will help you understand the love that heaven has to offer you. For I gave Solomon wisdom, not just for the things of the earth below, but also of heaven above. He was a fool and tried to find that love in this world. So he had one woman after another, But he never found it in the world, because it is not of this world, it is of heaven. O my children, I desire that you desire the things of heaven more, for I want you to experience a foreshadow of what is available abundantly in heaven. I love you, my beloved. I yearn for you. I desire to be in the presence of my brides. Though I call you brides here, in heaven there is only one bride. Singularity exists in that realm more so than in this one. We are one in thought, mind, action. We move and reverberate in love in heaven as one. This was how it was meant to be from the very beginning. Why do you think Adam dwelt in peace with all the animals? Because they were in singularity. They existed together in one mind, in harmony, one with another. There was no fear, separation, or division until the serpent deceived Eve. I want you to discover Eden here for that was as close as heaven for man could ever get until me. I am more than Eden. I am the total embodiment of heaven. I am your new Eden, a brook that never runs dry. Come and find me. You must seek me. I already love you. You don't have to look for my love, but you, my bride, have to look for me. Wait for me. Rest in me. Spend time with me. 
I want you to experience this now. The days ahead are indeed dark and darkening. Without this love, it will be impossible to see through the darkness. It will be impossible to see me through the darkness. I love you, my brides, and I desire to be with you now. That is why I'm coming for you all. The preparations have been completed. Heaven is like an army on alert, waiting for orders to march. Heaven is like an army. In the forefront, the horses have riders. The flags are up. There is silence as you look ahead. Silence so all can hear the command when it comes. Go. The time is here. The time is now. I am coming for you. Let the scoffers cough. I tell you, when I take my bride home, horror will descend on them like a crawl on their skin. They will know without a doubt what has happened. And to get rid of the horror, they will accept any reasonable explanation they are given. My people who are left behind will be strengthened. They will seek me and I will be found by them immediately. They will not have to pray or fast for long. Immediately they call my name, I will be there. I will not leave them defenseless and alone. I will walk this earth like I did during the execution and massacre of the first Christians. I will be known intimately by them, not as in a sexual intimacy, but as a mother loves her babies. I will walk into their houses, tend to their wounds, cook for them, and comfort them. Indeed, heaven will be open to them. They will see angels with more regularity than now. This is the revival I am talking about, a spread of holiness as has never been seen before. I promise you, heaven will be open to these my little ones. I will not let them live in dread and fear. I will embrace them and they will go forth to conquer for me. The devil thinks or will think he has won, but I have left behind a plunder for him. Oh yes, the ones I leave behind will plunder him. He will wish I had taken all of them beforehand. I tell you, they will plunder the kingdom of darkness so severely, the demons will tremble in their presence. They are a setup for the final showdown between good and evil. Though their sins caused them to be left behind, their reward in heaven is great. They will go forth with such power as the world has yet to see. The sick will not need the hospitals, for the hospitals will be close to my babies. They'll have hands laid on them by my pure ones, and they will be healed. Limbs will grow back. The dead who have not accomplished their work will be raised to life to complete their strengthening works. It will be a time of amazing miracles. Yes, I am coming for my bride, but I will not leave my babies defenseless. There is an army waiting to assist them and conquer the heavens for them. For as the fight on earth, there will be a great war in the heavens, and my bride will be with me at the banquet I have prepared for her. That is all for now, my beloved. Remember my words. I am with you even to the end of this age. I love you. I always have, and I always will. Amen. And that was the end of the message. <laughs>